What is IP address? It is a number which is assigned to each networking device, each host, each computer, each mobile phone, printer, any end device for its identification, even some layer 3 ports on some of the routers where we connect the devices. It is used for logical division of networks while MAC addresses are used for physical division and it is used for identification of device location, right? It tells us that logically this device belongs to where. For example, if we are in a college or school, so the logical division or the roll number tells us that which student is where in which class or which part of the school, which part of the global internet in terms of IP address. There are two versions of IP addresses which are mainly IPv4, IPv6 and uh, there is no IPv5 you would be wondering there is a detailed reason for that that initiative didn't go successful. So IPv4 of course it's the first version and it was the main version which came and which was widely deployed because there was a big need of IP addresses or internet at that time during the cold war the current standard is rfc 791 i would suggest every engineer must go through rfc 791 this was the first version and it tells us about the main structure of the internet and what was the idea of the engineers or scientists at that time who were establishing the basis or fundamentals of the internet and ip addresses so I have also printed when I was young, I also printed and I always keep a copy of RFC 791, OSPF, RFC, some basic RFCs. It is a 32 bit number. How 32 bit? Uh, we have divided it into dotted decimal notation means a decimal number, a dot, a decimal number and a dot, a decimal number and a dot. So it divides it into four small parts with eight bits each. So eight, 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 total 32 bits. And it has two parts like I have given two colors here. Uh, one part is called network portion or network part. The other one tells us about the host part. The dotted decimal notation like I explained and then it's 32 bit number if we convert it into binary. So 2 raised to power 32 becomes around 4.3 billion IP addresses in total. The first IP address is the first IP address from this range would be 0.0.0.0, .0 although it is not usable but still this is the first IP address and the last IP address will be 255.255.255 four times, right? Or in normal decimal numbers we can say 0 will be the first number and 4294967296 would be the last number if it's in decimal notation. Then like I said there are two versions of IP addresses. One is IPv4 which is widely deployed and it is accepted as well on almost all devices everywhere in the world and slowly because these were finishing now slowly we are transitioning towards IPv6 because IPv4 are finishing although the number looks very big 2 raised to power 32 4.3 billion but still that number is finishing slowly because in future we are expecting that even our home television will be smart we have so many billions of mobile devices and every device needs an ip address and in future we will have smart cars which will need ip addresses we will have refrigerators connected to the internet air conditioners connected to the internet our internet of thing devices so of course uh, 4.3 billion would not be sufficient that's why we are slowly moving to ipv6 and uh, IPv6 is not the only method to increase the number of IP addresses. There are other methods as well. For example, NAT is network address translation. We have divided it into private and public space so that we can reuse the private uh, address space. That's why you might have seen that usually in our offices, at our homes, the IP address which is given to our computer always starts from 192.168 or from 10 dot something. 192.168 is more common. So which means my local IP address means my private IP address and your private IP address or someone else private IP address can be same. But our public IP address will always be different. It's a detailed different discussion which I have already explained in our NAT discussion and there was a practical lab as well which we went through. So IPv4 it looks like this one. 
फोर डॉटेड डेसीमल नोटेशन एंड आई पी वी सिक्स इज इन हेक्सा डेसीमल नोटेशन एंड इट केम इन नाइनटीन नाइन्टी फाइव नाइनटीन नाइन्टी फाइव एंड इट्स वन is promising that of course it is not going to finish ever this is our vision at the moment but same vision was there when we were establishing ipv4 in 1983 that 4.3 billion ip addresses are never going to finish but of course they got finished so quickly you can go to global routing table the bgp table and you can see that there are address spaces which are finishing for ipv4 so that's all about IP addresses and its types in another lecture i have also explained about other types of ip addresses other classification that we can divide ip addresses in different types based on the classification of operation method their versions we can also divide them based on the assignment method static dynamic we can also divide them based on the classes by visibility so five different classification different methods of just classifying them so which we we will discuss we have already discussed in another one so this is all about ip address i hope it was informative if you have any question you guys can write in the comment section i'll be happy to make another video or answer your questions thank you for watching